Joe's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, today I'm working on my shop transformation. I am trying to clear some space out on this side of my shop. I'm just flat out running out of room here. Um, I might be getting some new toys here towards the end of the year that's going to require some space. So I'm just trying to create some space by clearing out this section right here and raising up uh, these shelves, which I've already done. I've already raised these up. I'm kind of opened this area up. Now I need to move some of this stuff out and around the side of my shop. And I gotta provide some sort of protection out there. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna build an awning off the side of the garage to kind of keep the weather off and move some of this stuff that's inside here out there. So let me show you what we're doing. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the side of my garage and, I, and I've got about six feet uh, between the block wall here and the garage itself. Uh, which is a nice uh, nice section and it's about 50 feet long here so it's allowed me to store stuff um, that typically doesn't get any kind of uh, rain damage to it that wouldn't be a problem uh, but now I'm thinking I'm, I want to put an awning over the top of this full height all the way across so I'm able to move some of the stuff that I have inside and protect it outside here uh, from the element so what I've done and what I'm gonna do and I've, I've already started um, I've put a ledger board, I've anchored, uh, I've lagged in a ledger board across the full length of the garage up here. It's a two by six pressure treated. Uh, and this is just the idea that I had at the last minute. So um, this is what I'm going with. And then we're going to be using two by two square tubing. And I'm going to be uh, welding some tabs on that. We'll be screwing that into the top and bringing that over. And then we're going to be uh, bolting some posts to this block wall about every eight feet long and then bringing um, uh, some rails or rafters, if you will, across this way. And then I've got some metal roof sheeting that's going to go on the top. And that's uh, going to make it 90%, 98% weatherproof. Um, not going to be a problem for the stuff that I'm going to bring out here. So that's the plan. So let's get started with the tubing. Okay, so, you know, most of my viewers know that I, I'm a type of guy that builds as I go and this is one project that you might say maybe got away from me just a little bit you know what I had a vision of what I thought I needed and what I thought I was going to do and boy it quickly turned into something a lot more than what I thought but nevertheless it's a good project and uh, here's what we're doing these are tabs that uh, I'm making to weld on the posts that are going to be mounted to the block wall. Now I'm putting these tabs, one on the bottom and one on the top of each post on either side of the square tubing. And that's what I'm doing right here. Just using the mag square to hold in place, keep everything nice and level. And uh, just welding them out on both sides where I eventually uh, ground down the back side that's going to go flush against the wall. You know, this I, like I said, I thought this was going to be something simple and pretty cost effective and boy it turned into something that cost me three times more than I thought but I guess at the end it was well worth it. Now these, are the, these are the tabs that are going on the, uh, on the top of the posts and again I'm just following that procedure just welding them out and then grinding them down flat on the back side and once we got all that done yeah, it's time to install. And so there they are and we're installing the posts and the way we did it by just uh, rotor hammering into the block wall and putting anchors uh, in and held them really, you can see the anchor right in the top uh, uh, right hand corner right there, uh, secured them really tight to the wall. And then I'm just welding the top frame on right here and I think it was somewhere about this point where I realized I might be getting myself into something more than I, I really planned but nevertheless I, I just kept moving forward. You know, we're using the HTP MiG-130 right here. This is a good opportunity, you know, kind of outside. And uh, got on my new cart right there and worked out really well. And just finishing up right here and everything's coming along pretty good. All right, so moving on to what I'm going to be calling the rafters. I guess you call them rafters. Um, uh, they're basically two by two square tube is what we're using for this whole project. And uh, these are the tabs that are going to be welded to the top part that's going to be screwed to the ledger that I had uh, already attached to the garage. And I'm um, just rounding them, rounding them off with the belt grinder right there. 
And once I established the, the proper angle that I needed, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to match the, the, the roof pitch that's on my garage. I believe it's a 5 and 12 right now, and so it's, we're, we're close to that. It, it looks similar to that. I'm just getting these tabs in and, and just welding them on right here all the way around. Well, that's quite a bit of work, but uh, nevertheless, it, it, the project is turning out uh, better than I thought it was going to. That's for sure. And here we are installing those rafters. I call them rafters. I don't know what you want to call them, but that's kind of the same thing. Instead of wood, we're using metal. But, uh, you know, one piece at a time. We're spacing them out at about, um, at about 21 inches. And the reason for that is the metal, the, the corrugated uh, metal roof sheeting that I have is about 23 inches in length and the width. And each on the bottom of each end of the corrugation is about 21 inches. And that's why we want to have those posts or the rafters right in there. So when I put the screws right in, that they uh, they fit right in the center of each one of them. So this is quite a process right here. I, I think I had a total of 27, 27 of them, I believe, uh, all the way across the whole back of the garage. And that's another thing. You know, I, I my first intention was just to build like a little lean-to that was maybe 10 or 12 feet, uh, you know, wide, someplace in the center of the garage. Well, you know, that... Again, everything I do, I overbuild everything, and I got a little carried away and decided to go the full length. Nevertheless, it's all good. Uh, we're making good progress right here. Things are starting to shape up and look pretty good. You know, for one minute, I thought I was going to be able to do all this by myself, but uh, I'm just glad, <laughs> I'm glad I had my guys help me out on this one right here. It probably would have killed me getting all this done. But we managed to get all of this done in one day, believe it or not. And you can see that this is the way I, I uh, elected to do it, do it here. I think these are number 10 screws. Uh, they're about an inch and, uh, inch and a quarter long or something like that. And we just screwed them right in. You know, it's really secure. This thing is holding up literally no weight. This, uh, this uh, corrugated metal roof sheeting is, is very lightweight. And so there's really no weight to it. And this thing is super heavy duty. I mean, it, it, uh, it's never going to come apart. Well, there it is right there. We got everything done and uh, we just cleaned it up with a little bit of acetone, got a little paint on it, and this part of the project is complete and we're ready to move forward. Okay, so I've got everything up, everything is painted, and uh, we're ready to put the, uh, the roof on. One thing I did add that I didn't get this on camera is uh, there was a void in the block right here. It was it, the wall came down and stepped down. I went ahead and just filled that block in so it's a solid wall all the way up and all the way down. So let's get started on the roof and finish this project. All right, so here's this roof uh, sheet I was talking about. You can see that uh, it is about 23 inches wide right there. And I had a little bit of trouble at first trying to figure out how everything was going to work. But once I got it figured out, uh, everything worked out really well and we just went right along here and got all the panels put on and there it is complete and I gotta say it turned out uh, much better than I really anticipated and it's super heavy duty anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more video see you next time on Jimbo's Garage